Gonna go through the oil change on a Yard Machines 21 inch uh, push mower. It's got the Power Mower 144cc engine. Um, two things you're gonna need. 10 millimeter socket on a, on a ratchet, funnel, some oil of your choosing. This motor calls for clearly, which is nice. 1030, I'm gonna go with AMS oil small engine. You can use whatever you want. Some brake cleaner. Um, maybe some towels because I like to make a mess and the drain pan. Okay, so you're going to want to run the engine for a few minutes, which I already did, about five minutes, get it nice and warm. And then um, I prop this thing up. I got my drain pan right here. Got some blocks of wood propping it up in the back. And you'll see there's a hole here. That's to drain the oil. So you'll Remove this plug here, and that'll drain down through that hole. So first, pop, oh, and that's awesome. Okay, pop that 10 millimeter plug out. Note there's a crush washer on there, so you're gonna want to save that. Actually, you can crack the dipstick a little bit so it'll vent. Pull out this drain bolt that is excessively long and just let that drain. You might want to tip the mower slightly uh, after it's done draining and just make sure that you get it all so a little bit more will come out. And you just let her hang out there for a little bit and then settle back down and it'll continue to drain into that hole. There it is. Once your draining is complete, you can take your drain bolt and your crush washer, reinstall that, install it by hand as far as you can, and then tighten with the ratchet. Don't go crazy or on tight. You just have to get it snug. Okay, what I like to do is um, I'll thread this down a little bit so no brake clean gets in the engine oil, but spray it down with some brake cleaner. Get that oil diluted down. And then you can proceed to, to clean it up with towels or rags or whatever. Once you get it cleaned up, um, we're ready to add the oil. I should have mentioned, if you're going to use brake cleaner to clean off the, the oil, just be careful. This stuff is pretty harsh and it can damage the paint. It, if you get it on there and wipe it off right away, you might be okay, but just use caution. So we're going to pull the dipstick out of here. Um, set it on a towel or something. Clean it off. Get a clean funnel. And add your oil. I couldn't find a speck on how much this holds, so you just add a little bit at a time and keep checking it. Go slow because it'll overfill and it'll pour out your fill hole and make a mess again. So just keep adding a little bit at a time. Get your funnel out of there. Right in the dipstick. Be careful with these dipsticks. They're they're plastic and they're going into aluminum, so it's it's very easy to cross thread them. Just thread that in until it seats nice. Don't go crazy on tightening it. Back it off, and we're not touching the hash marks yet. So I'm going to keep adding. Fill the oil until it's full, which is, once your little hash marks on the dipstick, you can't really tell, are covered in oil, and it's about there in the block. Seems kind of full, but that's actually the proper level. Thread that back in. 
just a little snug here. That's it. It looks like we ended up using just over half a quart. So that's about all you're going to need. And that's pretty much it. It's not, it's not really that hard. The most time consuming part is just adding oil slowly. You don't want to overfill it because then you'll have to drain a little bit out or pump a little bit out. So just take your time. And then, uh, I don't know, mow the yard with it once and recheck the oil level.